Alright guys, uh, taking another video for you. I uh, haven't been working on it as much as I'd like to be, but college is keeping me busy. I only come home like once a month, so. Um, basically we're still trying to figure out this gap problem here. Uh, when we did the subframe chop, something got screwed up, so. I don't know. Just some little fitment issues. Uh, we've been working on the the bear claw latches and stuff. As you can see, we got the the handles hooked up there, and then I put in the door poppers. Uh, they're not wired up or nothing yet, but got both sides done. Uh, I've been working on the door gaps a little bit. Looking pretty good. It's all pretty straight and nice looking. I'm uh, gonna make the running board soon here. I gotta order up the blanks so we can get them formed and cut out whatever. Uh, this side looks pretty good too. Need a little bit of work up on the top there with the gap. Need a little bit of fill. The gap's a little too big. Uh, we did the trunk hinges. And we put in that little license plate slot. These trunk hinges were a bitch. Uh, you can't probably can't really see, but they're out of a '53 DeSoto. Uh, they're just kind of mocked in right now. We still gotta trim them and make them look all nice and neat. Uh, we just cut all the stuff out from under there, put in the new or put in the other uh, hinge kits or whatever, whatever the hell you want to call it, hinge setup. Uh, and there's a spring that runs this way, long way. Uh, this probably took us, I don't know, we've tried and failed so many times with this, it's really ridiculous. Uh, we ordered, we ended up ordering two hidden hinge kits that are supposed to be universal. Yeah, they didn't work. Um, spent a lot of time on those. Here's the universal ones, whatever. We modified them, tried to make them work, just nothing would happen. Uh, then we tried to make some custom ones from scratch based on what I could read online and just didn't work. So ended up just going to a friend's house, taking them off his car and modifying them to fit on here. Uh, it works pretty good. Need some work right here on the corners, doing all the gaps on this, whatever, some adjustment. As you can see, it's a little low on the corners. Whatever though. Uh, motor and training are supposed to be here in two weeks, so that's nice. We're probably not really going to be ready for them, but that's okay. Still nice to have them for a winter. Gives me something to do over my Christmas vacation. The dash is pretty much done. I don't know if I already showed you guys this, but pretty much done. Needs a few little modifications. Got to cut the holes for the knobs and stuff and bondle it and whatever. Now all the garnish moldings done for all the windows all chopped all fit up real nice. Uh, we got the seats up there and another seat right here. Uh, we're gonna get that real poster probably pretty soon here. Pretty nasty now but original seats are the best. Gotta make the door panels all that stuff too. <coughs> So I'll get another video you got, video for you guys next time. Hopefully I get all the gaps and everything all lined up. Uh, everything all bolted up and looking nice. Then we'll throw in the motor tranny. Make a drive shaft. Running boards. Thanks for watching.